guys I'm Mason Press welcome to this reading this reading is called July blessings July what is going to come in July something that we need to know advice surprises everything about July so you have two options option number one is grand trine blessings and second option is moon soul this is the astrology deck don't look at the cards like image and oh because this says blessing I will choose this choose the card that calls out to you the most okay focus on your pile close your eyes you can pause the video and um, choose your option i will put the timestamps down below in comment section okay i'm going to use these cards and then sacred traveler deck and uh, the universe has uh, your back deck at the end of the reading for oracle messages okay so yeah i'll see you in pile number one now if you ever want to book a personal reading with me please dm me on instagram link to my instagram account is down below in description box okay hi pile number one if you chose this card then the, these are your cards this is your reading so i have pulled down the cards for you oracle cards we'll see later on but let's talk about this so these cards these astrology cards have major messages okay so this card that you chose is actually very lucky and it shows that a time where you feel lucky and uh, things flow easily into your life is coming or will come because of the efforts that you have put in I feel like you were expecting some things to not work out or some things to go wrong but that is not going to happen or you are thinking that okay if I want to apply for visa I'm not going to get the approval my papers are not going to come in time so that is not going to happen but I also feel like that like there's a theme here like if, if there is something that you want and you want a prize you want like something a certificate you want there's an end goal you want to reach and you want to be successful the mantra here that I'm seeing for July is that the, the routine that you are following right now or you have been following for a while that is not going to work in your favor you need to think differently you need to make different choices and make a different routine for yourself in life in order to get something okay so if you want to pass in some exam then you want then you have to change your routine okay you have to have a different schedule otherwise you're going to miss out on that prize is what I see or you're going to be left behind so I want you to work your best obviously but I also want you to keep in mind that things I need to do things differently because we have the card of Leo I will it says that you know how Leo are they're bold they're adventurous um, they have a big heart and they just don't do anything like medium mediocre <laughs> they aim for high you know high status they aim for big things and that is what you should be doing right now you should be aiming for big things you should if you want fame if, if you are a social media if you want to become social media influencer then you should aim big and you should you need to make some changes in your daily life right now this could be something like you are in the field of competition like if you're a social media influencer there's a lot of competition out there if you want a job a position again there's a lot of competition out there everyone wants to be the best everyone wants to you know wants to become the boss everyone wants to be number one right if you came to this reading thinking about love then I'm going to tell you that in July you are going to meet a person who is you know who has this larger than life aura because this person does not think small 
This person always aims for bigger things. They are never satisfied with what they have. They are always aiming for bigger things, larger things. If I have a car, I want a much bigger car now. Is like this is how they think. This is someone who is going to be very lucky for you and very important in your life. This person will be a person who is a true partner for you and not only supportive of you and your success but someone who will help you advance in your goals. And that is why I am telling you, you need a change in your routine. Maybe this person will come in and advise you about you know how to achieve success, how to uh, fix the uh, schedule for success, how to you know start journaling and you know a to-do list you need to have but also i just want to say that obviously i see success coming for you in july but you need to do the effort too you need to do that okay anytime you're manifesting you need to do the effort so if i tell you you're going to be successful uh, you want to be a social media influencer and you're not creating content then how will you get success okay that's the thing so when I saw this card breaking trail, a breakthrough is at hand, I immediately knew that success is coming to you, okay? That whatever you are trying to do in your life is, is working. You are on the right path, okay? And then I saw this transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges. That why, that's why I told you, the way you are right now is not the way you're going to be later on or you know july is going to be a month where you change the game altogether and i don't know if you believe in angels whatever power you believe in they are protecting you they are happy that you're trying to achieve something in your life and then look at this uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty so you are going to find that treasure you are going to get what you want but you see how this treasure is protected by this dragon it is because it is so precious that you have to work so hard it is because you are putting in all these efforts this dragon will actually allow to allow you to access this gift this treasure and by dragon, I mean dragon could be difficult circumstances, dragon could be uh, challenges, obstacles, okay? Let's see what is the message of oh, the same card. The universe has your back again. Protected by angels, universe has your back. Let's see more oracle cards, please. My outer experiences are a reflection of my inner condition internal condition so yeah whatever you're doing the efforts that you're putting so again I, I i always tell my clients when i tell them about manifestation that your health needs to be perfect this is also a card about health because this is the sixth house sixth house shows uh, diseases and all so you need to keep your health in the you know top condition because you are going to achieve some things something that you have always wished for and if you're sick or if you're weak then you're not going to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor totally right so change your routine change your diet uh, eat more healthy diet eat healthy foods focus on your you know physical um, vitality Obstacles are detours in the right direction. Yeah. So I told you that there's this dragon and it could mean there are obstacles. But because there are so many obstacles and because this is a... I feel like you're walking on a divine path. Like a pious path. Something that not everyone can achieve. Like you watch movies, right? Where they get treasures and stuff and you you see how they go through those obstacles right so this is 
the message for you that you're going to achieve what you want you are on the right path i told you what you can do and what you have to do you have to change routines and all right i told you what you can do in order to achieve what you want you're so close like i feel like i see so many readings of so many people throughout the day you are 90% there 10% remains so focus on your goal and tell me what you feel when you when you heard this message what you felt tell me down below in comment section like this reading subscribe and comment if this reading if this message helped you thank you for watching i wish you all the very best because i feel like you're on a divine path thank you let's meet in pile number 2 Hi pile number 2 welcome to this reading if you chose the moon card uh, I am going to tell you various messages so please listen carefully till the end. So first of all I feel for you guys pile 1 was so different than you. This pile is uh, very different. Pile 1 had clarity and I feel like you don't have clarity. You are confused. You are like I don't know what is happening in life or there is a battle that you are fighting and this battle is uh, something that you want to do and between something you want to do and something you can do but you don't want to do. Um, I know you are not getting it but wait. It's like you have two choices one choice is very easy you can do it and it's okay if you do it but you don't want to do it and there's this one choice that scares you or that is like out of your league but you want to do it your heart is like pulling you in different directions and that's why this is happening so it, and and with you i feel like this happens like you do something and you feel like okay now i'm on the right track and then you try to when when you're about to reach your goal you feel that okay i'm about to reach my goal nothing dead end like there's this wall you reach this wall and you're like bam okay nothing is happening so you feel stuck you feel like uh, whatever i'm trying to do i'm not reaching anywhere and i i know what this confusion is and i will tell you where exactly where this thing is coming from why this confusion exists this is the battle of your soul okay i understand this i will explain this to you your soul is pulling you in two directions if this is about love then you are confused between two people and if this is about anything else in general you are confused between two energies and you don't know what to do but i'll tell you something one of this thing is related to your past life and one of this thing is related to your this life now if this is if you're confused about two people one of them it comes from your past life and uh, you have completed some karma with them and you don't need to choose them again and it's like a test so we have south node right so it's like a test you've given that test in a past life you have seen a past life with that person and you have completed that test you don't need to do that again so south node in our birth chart shows things that we have achieved in a past lifetime whereas north node is something we should be pursuing in this lifetime so now things must be clear for you we have the seventh house and we have partners so this could be about a lover and in general also if you have something you want to pursue and you are confused between two choices you have done something in past life like for example you wanted to become a doctor and another choice is a lawyer so let's suppose this one choice doctor you have done it in a past lifetime it's it's done it's gone you know what to do you you have studied everything but this lawyer thing is something uh, you need to pursue in this lifetime 
this is the difference between something that you're confused i see it clearly because uh, i see it in the cards you don't see it clearly because you cannot see the entire picture but whatever this is that we have achieved in our past life comes easily to us and there there's like literally no challenge in that in july i feel like you will come in a position where you realize that you are a part of the universe okay to so some of you i want to say that no matter what choice you choose you are a part of the universe you make a difference in this universe you are a magical being making um, a difference in the world you know you you spread your vibrations throughout the world you spread love you you use your skills your talents in july i feel like you will be able to choose a path that you want so some people i want to say don't choose something that you all have already done in a past life you don't need to do that if something comes to you easily and you like know everything about it you don't need to do that in this lifetime and you can pursue something that you don't know something that scares you something that challenges you that is our rahu that is north node see it says life's purpose so in july and for some people i want to say that no matter what choice you make it's okay it's fine all is possible see the thing is that if we choose ketu the south node if we choose the path that something we have done in a past lifetime we have the experience things will be really easy but then you will not learn anything new something that challenges you that's okay too okay i don't want to judge or i don't want to uh, you know dictate you to choose something this is your life you know better okay but since you are confused i am trying to give you clarity on the entire situation in june you will understand clearly what comes easily to you and should it be pursued or not and what challenges you and will help your soul grow we have when i am connected to the joyful presence to my joyful presence i attract su- support from the universe so yeah as i said no matter what choice you make universe is going to support you or the people around you will support you then there is a stream of love supporting my dreams <laughs> everything is about support okay so yeah universe will support you people around you will support you no one is going to be like you know that's why i said even i am supportive that if you want to do this something that you've done in past life okay if you want to do something new something that challenges you that's fine too then we have when i focus on my inner light i see the world through the lens of love yeah it is important that you love yourself it is important that you spread joyous and loveful vibration in the universe that is what is important at the end of the day you must enjoy what you do and in july all of this will fall into place you know and you will do it you can do it so my dear beautiful soul if this reading helped you please like share subscribe and comment and let me know what you thought